Hi, my name is Ben King. I'm a licensed therapist in Pennsylvania. And today we're going to be talking about the holidays that are going to be coming up in the next week or so. Um, and so the holiday season, for a lot of couples, that means uh, a lot of good things. So spending time with family, traditions that you've had throughout your life, great food and, and drinks, and, and spreading a lot of joy throughout the season. Uh, but oftentimes there is a, another side to it. Um, and so today we're going to be talking about the struggles of the holidays, specifically with couples, um, how you can navigate them with the least amount of stress and conflict as possible. The reason why this is something that can be important to talk about is a lot of couples that I see, they'll be at a fine place, but when the holidays hit, there's a lot of stress that bubbles up and it just leads them to feeling disconnected on different teams, feeling tense with each other. Um, so I think being able to plan for the holidays, going into it with each other, can make it go a lot more smoothly. Um, so the first step in doing this, in my mind, is planning and setting expectations. Uh, so to me, this is better to do early on. I mean, I think doing it right around now instead of the day before can be really helpful. So this essentially means talking to each other about your hopes for the, for the holidays. Uh, in an ideal world, of course, you're going to agree on everything. You're going to have the same ideas, be exactly on the same page, but that's just not usually how it goes. Uh, so try to open up a conversation with each other where you're just trying to learn more about the other person and, and what they would like going into it. Um, obviously sharing that for yourself as well, but really prioritizing trying to find out more from their perspective. At the end of the conversation, hopefully you'll be able to meld your wants so that you can find a mutually beneficial plan um, so that both of you can be happy going through the holidays instead of feeling resentful or that you're not being considered something like that. So some questions that you could ask each other or ask yourself, do we want to split the holidays between families? Do we want to host? How do we want to spend the days, whether that's by ourselves or with others? Just being able to try to figure out a game plan about uh, what you want during the holidays. Uh, you can also talk more about specific details. Uh, for many couples, this is just one example, uh, they'll have a different idea about what amount of alone time they'll need. Maybe one partner needs barely any, they're totally fine with being around family pretty much constantly, whereas the other needs quite a bit more. They need that individual time to, to recover. Uh, talking about these specifics can set the two of you up for success because you're making those needs and wants very explicit. It's, it's not something where things are going unsaid and then you feel surprised when you get into the holidays. Um, so for example, again, the alone time. If I know my partner needs more alone time, I'll be less likely to get frustrated when they're taking more breaks from being around the family because I understand, oh, it's not that they don't like my family, it's not that they're in a grumpy mood, it, they just need more of that alone time to, to recover. Um, again, the important part is to remain a team even if you handle things in different ways. So again, some questions that you can ask yourselves and each other. How much alone time do we need? Does one of us want more active time versus rest time and vice versa? Does one partner crave more romance and intimacy during the holidays than the other? Um, again, it's not about just bending to the other person and doing exactly what they want. It's about just finding out more about each other and what you want so that you can meld that. And then for couples that have children, Make a plan for how you're going to take care and manage your kids. If you're going into the holidays and don't have a plan for how you're going to work together, you could be setting yourself up for failure. We all have certain expectations of our partners and ways that we would like them to handle stressful situations that pop up. And so when things don't happen the way that we'd want them to, that can easily create building frustration with each other. Um, so to limit this, go over situations with each other and how you'd like to handle them. Uh, this way, you're making your expectations clear and explicit and getting on the same page before you're even in those moments. So again, some questions you could ask. What do we want their temporary routine to be while we're away? When we're at a certain location, either of your parents' house or family, friends, anything like that, will one of us be the primary parent in charge? How do we want to handle setting boundaries for them when we're with family, et cetera, et cetera? Then a third strategy you could use is share hot button issues with each other uh, the holidays can certainly be a very fun time to look back on, but for any of us, there's going to be some memories that, that aren't so positive. And so share any triggers you might have with your partner. 
These are often at the opposite ends of the spectrum. So for partner A, their trigger will be feeling like the other isn't helping out, while partner B, their trigger is feeling like they're always being nagged or criticized. Again, the important part is not to find out who's right or wrong, but it's to let each other know about your triggers and learn more about each other. This way, you can try to avoid that dynamic and get on the same page. If I feel like you're helping out this time, you're likely to feel like I'm not on your back and both of us can have a relaxing time where we feel like we're working together instead of against each other. Um, so for example, I feel triggered when you leave me with your family and don't check in on me, or when you drink so much that I feel like I have to take care of you and the kids. I think just getting ahead of these dynamics and talking about them, not to just rehash and, and kind of jab at each other, but again, to, to talk through it and work together. Then, and this is kind of similar to the previous, but then reflect on what you've struggled with in the past and try to uncover any situations or dynamics that you have during the holidays. Um, again, these will often go hand in hand with triggers, but thinking about past struggles can help us determine what those triggers actually are. And so it might be difficult just thinking, okay, what are my triggers? Um, but I think it can be even more helpful to think about what specific situations have we faced in the past. And again, like I said, be careful not to just rehash a previous situation. Talk about it with the goal of completely understanding both of your perspectives. And those perspectives are, are likely to be different. So expect that going in, that there are going to be things that you look at differently. So again, some questions you could ask. What made this so tough for us in that moment? What made you so upset or frustrated in that moment that I didn't realize? What about that did I not realize? Maybe I don't even realize now that I could learn from. And how have we experienced situations differently in the past? I think asking that question is really making it clear that we're not going to experience everything the same way. Um, so just setting up that expectation that we look at things differently sometimes. And then finally, figure out how you want to handle any difficult moments in the future together. Instead of feeling frustrated and having the rest of the day ruined, share with the other person what you would want to happen when you're feeling frustrated with each other. If there's a trigger, how do you want that to go? What do you need from a conversation to get back on the same page and smooth over those tough feelings? If both of you agree ahead of time that you want to work as a team, even when it gets tough, it can make it much easier to have those conversations to repair any disconnect. You're, you're setting up the expectation of when we do have a difficult moment, whether it's in that moment or later, we're going to come back around and, and work through it together, try to repair that. Um, a, a basic mantra that you can have during the holiday season is to stay on the same team and be patient with each other. It's much easier said than done when there's a lot of stress involved, but I believe that any couple can benefit from trying to be more intentional. And the cherry on top is that when you're able to do this successfully, it makes the rest of the time a lot more enjoyable because you have a shared plan that you're working towards together. It might take more effort beforehand, but for any couple, that seems well worth it. And so just to summarize, again, the holiday season, it can be a great time, and, and that's what I want it to be for, for everybody. But I think it might take some work to be able to make it as best as possible. So first, plan and set expectations. So talk to each other about your hopes. Talk about specific details. Uh, for couples that have children, make a plan for how you're going to take care of them and, and manage your kids and, and parenting throughout the, throughout the holidays. Share hot button issues with each other. Share triggers with each other that you have. Uh, reflect on what you've struggled with in the past to be able to uncover those dynamics or triggers. Um, and then figure out how you want to handle any difficult moments in the future together. Uh, I think if you do that, and again, it doesn't have to be hours and hours talking about these things, but even if the two of you sat down with each other for 30, 45 minutes, an hour, once before the holidays, I mean, I think even doing something like that is really giving you a good leg up, is, is setting a solid foundation for the holidays. And as always, if this is something that feels too difficult to work through, or if you've already went through the holidays and are having a tough time, I think seeing a couple's therapist to be able to work through those issues can be a great idea. Again, if it feels too difficult or that it just feels like there's so many landmines when the two of you are just working through it together, 
Um, but I, I think other than that, I wish uh, every couple, whether it's that I work with or otherwise, if you're just listening, I wish you the, the best of luck for the holidays. And uh, yeah, here's to being there to lean on each other. And I hope you have a happy holiday. I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you all in the next episode.